hello guys it's jovi and welcome back to my channel so um yeah i just went on instagram and i saw that summer walker is not minding her own damn business okay she's not minding her business and sis you need to but um before i get in and go in show y'all what the hell has happening and why i say that little girl need to stay in a little girl's place and worry about her baby daddy or her future baby daddy let's first begin by saying please don't forget to like this video subscribe to the youtube channel follow me on my other social media platforms i'm jovi beauty on all platforms so please follow please subscribe and now let's just do it <laughs> okay guys so we're gonna start by saying we know most of future and eliza rain's drama for the most part everything that's you know we spoke about it i will attach this video or i'll leave up front their playlist so if you don't know you can go back in time but um so eliza rain has futures i don't know eighth tenth i can't keep track of his chilling but she has a baby she has a baby for him and Future doesn't want a baby with Eliza. So because he doesn't want a baby with her, um, he does not provide for his baby. They've been going back and forth to court. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to start with where I first saw. If there's something previous to this, let me know. But bitch, mind your business. So up underneath the neighborhood talk, who spoke on uh liza going to court with future this ghetto who currently is dating london on the track after we done seen him choke her after currently i read an article yesterday about him not taking care of a baby he just had with some other girl okay so he she's fucking with a deadbeat so she's okay with deadbeat shit okay let's start that let's start out with that okay let's start out with that okay so then she wrote she wants 53000 a month. Bitch, who told you that? That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. I don't even got to read no more to know that that don't make sense. Who told you that, sis? Anyway, women like this are so disgusting and sad. I feel so bad for this man. You feel so bad for Mr. 85 Baby Daddy? Ain't nobody told him to fuck all these bitches. Whatever. Where do y'all ever find these types of women? They find them in bitches like you. Okay, 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 okay. Stop being a pick me. It doesn't work. Hold up. Okay, so then let's go to the next one. Nope, wrong one. Sorry, wrong one. He pushed. Let's just let's just move. Okay, let's go here. She wrote. First of all, Miss Galactic whore. Well, Miss Galactica whore, bitch, that was a good one, okay? Listen, I ain't got no issues with old girl Eliza, okay? Old girl Eliza, have a baby for him. He shouldn't have been fucking her without a condom if you don't want a baby for her. You have all these babies, okay? It sound good until you actually have to take care of them, okay? Trash ass niggas who ain't raised with no daddies don't comprehend this, but okay. Um, First of all, Miss Galactica whore, nice music, but where your brain at? Where your brain, sis? With your brain, sis. Anyway, I don't even like going back and forth with black women during times like this. But how are you speaking on a situation like mine when your man is doing the same thing, if not worse, than the person I'm battling in court? Speak on it, sis. Instead of condemning me on a fake number, you should be using your platform to speak against this type of neglect of children and abuse of women. But I can't expect much from a person who condones their man allegedly playing the same type of games. Bitch, we, I read that article like you read that article, sis. Okay? She wasn't done yet. Okay? Um, then she wrote, in a child support case, just in fact, in case you don't know, ho. In a child support case, okay, both parents have to submit financial paperwork to determine a fair amount of support. Facts. I submitted mine's day one, but guess what happened? The other party doesn't. They do a general assumption of income. So there's this site called Forbes. 
just in case you're stupid, <laughs> where people report their income. The state has guidelines according to what's reported to Forbes. If true, the state of Florida guidelines suggest 53,000 until the dependents until the dependent subjects or proven their true financial status, AKA inability to afford it or not. It's not beef with my baby daddy. I think, I think he should willingly do better, but I've been let that drama go. My baby is healthy and obviously well taken care of regardless, which is why I try to chill on even discussing this. She did. Cause I ain't see too much more shade. Cause you know, she'll shade future in a second. Um, God has been blessed me for real, but y'all really misinformed and it's at my expense. I personally asked for a much more reasonable amount, even before court got involved, which I could prove that in one receipt, things were cordial and cool. Then I was ghosted again, a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks before delivery, a couple of weeks before delivery, sis. And you've t shut the fuck up, Summer. Jesus. Anyway, um, where, where was I? Cause this is long again, a couple weeks before delivery. And even in court, I actually asked for less, but there's still no solid finances, financial submitted, which is why temp child support was granted while we sort this out, which I also want to say, I'm grateful for that 3,200 y'all trying to drag me over. She getting 3,200. And bitch, you up on the shame, whoever talking shit, minding business that don't concern you. Worry about your nigga and the baby he got that he not taking care of. Go ahead, ho. Anyway, go wash your ass and go worry about your nigga. Um, Y'all trying to drag me, even if I receive it. Because again, who says she going to actually get it, okay? Believe it's a start and much more than the zero I received in the past almost 17 months of Rain's life. Bitch, this nigga ain't do nothing. Shut up. Mind your business. Mind the business that pays you. Yo, nigga. It takes more than money to take care of a child, but children are expensive. And I do believe they should live a lifestyle similar to their parents. I believe so too. If you have a baby with a man and he got money, your baby should not be living in the projects. Your baby should not be living in the projects. Your baby should not be suffering because y'all ain't together. Okay. I don't think a man should want to have his child living, going to private schools, doing, get, getting, that's what the fuck you supposed to have worked for, homie funny looking ass. Anyway, but children are expensive and I do believe they should live a lifestyle similar to their parents. So yes, I want financial support, not 53K, but enough for private schools, vacation, and to see the world through the eyes of the privilege. There's nothing wrong with that. So if that's wrong for me wanting, uh, wanting that for her, oh, well, ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And I have no pride when it comes to my kids. Me neither, bitch. I feel you. I sacrificed so much for that little girl. I used to be in ama an amazing financial position before my pregnancy, but I don't run around making excuses. I refuse to let her feel a lack because her parents can't get along. I've been doing my best like a real mother should. I don't look for a pat on the back. I just keep my head up and push and provide. And that's been enough encouragement for me. But I'm tired of people telling me I don't love my child because I refuse to ab abort her. Like, for real, y'all go sit down. Or I wouldn't accept uh, raising her on my own financially. And what's sad is it's mostly other women. A whole bunch of pick a, pick a mini bitches. So, and then I guess she done posted. I thought the musty deadbeat girlfriend said something. Oh! I made a video about this, sis. You don't shower, Summer. Listen. So that's what's happening. I think I said everything I wanted to say in this motherfucking video while we was talking about it. Okay? Mind your business, little girl. These is grown people with children. All right? This ain't little game. This ain't little boy shit. This ain't game shit. Apparently, you was raised without a dad, so you think it's normal, and you think this woman supposed to struggle while the dad sit up being a bullshit ass nigga, spending all his money on fucking Lori Harvey. Hey, even though Lori left his ass, but spending all his money on Lori Harvey and not putting nothing into his fucking kids or doing the bare minimum and think people supposed to be impressed. I'm not impressed. No one is impressed. 
Mind your business. Worry about the child your nigga got. Worry about the children your nigga gonna have on you and shut the fuck up. Worry about you being able to provide for your child when that nigga get you pregnant and leave your stupid ass high and dry. And I'm done. And as always, I hope you live your life like it's golden because there's no other way to live it. <clears throat> and I said it.